welcome back to the penthouse suite that's what I'm calling it now the penthouse suite um, I won't show you the view from the balcony it is however cloudy again so you just have to imagine for yourself what the what the view looks like when it's when it's blue skies and sunshine and at the top of the hill up there somewhere uh, there was a festival last night, it was pretty fun, went on till the early hours of the morning. There's no door to the penthouse suite, so the more explorative backpackers they come upstairs and then compliment how cool they think the, the penthouse suite is, and you can also stay in the hammocks. I considered it, uh, but I uh, bottled it in the end. As you can see, the road's really bad, so we've got to do the last bit on foot. Yeah, so I literally have no information on the waterfalls at all. It was just a case of getting the taxi and go. everybody to you or not but I don't really want to be putting the, the camera in everybody's face I'm not sure if they like it or not it's fun jumping off but the, there's a couple of rocks around the bottom so you kind of you end up you do end up hitting the floor and also around the sides you can see the rocks through the water so it's a little bit a little bit sketchy jumping off the the waterfall. That was pretty good fun. Time to go back to the hostel. chocolate in Belize and we stopped off at a, okay. uh, a chocolate making place. There's also some Mayan ruins in town, it's about a 30 minute walk away, so I reckon there's enough time in the day to be able to show you that. First I'm going to grab some food and then I'm going to head up to the ruins, which are up near where the festival was last night. That was actually terrible, normally I like the street food, but yeah, no, that was really, really, really bad. I'm heading to some ruins called Cahol Pech or Cahol Pesh. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. Um, it's always good to hear a local say it and then you can then just mimic what they say. It's all uphill, so hopefully when, uh, when I make it to the top, there will be a lovely view from the ruins. Beautiful view looking down to the town. I don't reckon you're going to be able to see it with the with the camera. I don't have a have a zoom. You're just going to see a car park. But for me, stood here, I get a great view of the town. I don't know where I'm going or how far it is. I'm just going to follow follow this path. I hope it's the right one, and hope that I rock up at some Mayan ruins. It wasn't very far. Now walking up some more massive Mayan steps. Still don't know why they made them so big. Let's probably look that up. Um, fortunately here, yeah, certainly at these ruins in Belize, 
you are able to to walk on them it's not like the Mexican ruins where they uh, rope them all off as if we're in Europe okay this is cool there's also not many people here and it's always really nice to be able to explore without all the tourists so that's all the information so far that I've found about these ruins informative This is like the, the high viewpoint in the ruins. Plaza E, what happened to B, C and D? Probably explored like I don't know, in the wrong direction or something. It's like a maze. F, F, I don't understand. I, I, the place doesn't seem very big. I don't know how it's managed to get to, to Plaza F. I don't know what I'm missing. This setup looks familiar. It looks like that, that hoop game that I saw a couple of times in Mexico. Um, but this one looks like, you know, like it's, it's you know, past its best days. Well, Plaza B, C and D, you've been lost, but you won't be forgotten about. Something that I've noticed about these ruins is that they don't have um, all of the, the pillars like they had, at, for example, at Chitsen Itza. All of the buildings they had, you know, row upon row of pillars to then hold up the roofs. Whereas here, they, for some reason, they don't appear to to have used the same method. I'm not sure why that is unfortunately. Don't know much about this place and you know that there's up to G plazas. I'm gonna head back to the hostel now. I bet that plazas B, C and D were next to some fantastic ruin that I've that I've skipped. A bit easy downhill bit now. Downhill all the way back to the hostel. Alright, that's another day done.